everyone. We're going to be learning how to make a write-on text effect today, and it's uh, pretty simple. It's honestly just two effects uh, within one, and we're going to get right to it. So when you open up the files, uh, you could access them in the video description below. Here you're going to see this interface, and we're going to be focusing on pretty much one layer. So double-click on the text layer and select the layer called Outside Written. And we're going to be drawing a mask on this layer, and um, we're going to be using certain effects to reveal this mask over time. Now, we're going to go up to the top toolbar, click on that pen tool, and we're going to make a mask. Now, I'll show you to make uh, the first letter, so click a little bit outside of the first letter. Uh, click and drag, that'll give you some busy handles, I'll show you what to do with them in a second. And you basically click along the shape of this letter. And you don't have to completely close this mask, um, but you know, get most of it. As you can see, I'd like to adjust this part. So I'm going to grab this busy handle and I could push it back closer to that little box. And yeah, if I want to adjust them, I could grab, you know, these little points along my uh, mask and that will allow me to edit them. I have like a nice smoother mask. And if I want to go on to the next letter, because it's disconnected, I just, you know, click the selection tool, click anywhere in the layer, click the pen tool again, and I get on to the next one. And remember to click and drag to access those busy handles. And I will see you when these are all complete. All right, very nice. We have our mask over here. As you can see, some of these letters are conjoined over here, and that's all right. Um, so the next thing we're going to be doing is go up to, with, again, with the outside written layer selected, go up to effect, go to, hold on, let me just really make sure that that is selected, go to effect, go to generate, uh, let's find stroke, and, <clears throat> sorry, and then we're going to change a couple of settings on this effect. So let's change the brush size to, I'm going to put it at 35, uh, I know it looks a little weird, don't worry about it for now. Um, we are going to change the paint style to reveal original image. And we're going to click this little box that says all masks. That should be about it. Now, the first thing that we're going to be doing is hit the um, stopwatch next to uh, end. We're going to change that percentage all the way to zero. And then we are going to move our playhead about, say, like one... 14, 115, there we go, right here, that's our timestamp. Then we're going to change this number next to the end value to 100. And then you can see, as we scrub through our animation, it reveals the letters. All right, now that we have this effect in place, let's go back to the main comp here. And we will hit spacebar to preview our animation. And there we go, it writes itself. So this has been Sapporo from Noble Desktop, and I hope you found this helpful. Happy animating!